Hey everybody, how's it going? So this is the first episode of Suki's journey to a healthy lifestyle. This is something that I have been trying to do for quite some time and I just haven't gotten around to it. That's the ugly truth. I just have not gotten around to it. What I'm trying to do, not what I'm trying to do, but what I am doing is basically um, I want to lose some weight and I have a hard time doing it just because I get confused in certain parts of you know weight training or certain parts of eating and I, I just don't really have the support um, and when I mean support um, I mean accountability I'm the best person to keep my accountable for certain things for my business for uh, doing certain projects etc etc but when it comes down to doing something like losing weight and keeping myself accountable to go to the gym to eat healthy um, and anything like that I am actually not good at that whatsoever. I have a tendency to have a plan B and usually I always have a plan B for that and that's the way I am able to fail um, and I am responsible for it and that is the main reason I am able to uh, cheat myself out of you know obtaining success. The reason I'm making this video and the reason I'm starting uh, my journey to a healthy lifestyle is because I would like your support and keeping myself accountable because now I don't have to just get back to one person or two people or three people and tell them you know how my day has been going or what I'm doing to achieve my goals and etc. I actually have to keep myself accountable in a way where I have to post videos. I would like to give a shout out to my brother Humble the Poet who has really supported me and just told me to go on this path and just told me just go for it. Just do it. Don't worry how it's going to happen. Just make it happen. Right? And that is the best advice I could have gotten. It doesn't matter how I do it, if I have if I have an idea, if I have a plan, if I have a goal that I want to achieve, just go for it. Everything else will come by on its way. So I'm taking the chance and I am making this video to explain who I am, what do I do, uh, why am I focusing or on having a healthy lifestyle and what am I going to do about it. So let's just start off at the very beginning. Uh, my name is Suki. Um, I'm born and raised in Vancouver. Um, played sports all my life. Um, let's talk about injuries. Um, injuries, I used to play football in high school and my greatest injury was when I was in grade 12. I tore my ACL and MCL in both my legs and unfortunately was not able to play after that and was on a lot of bed rest and uh, had to wear knee braces um, just to naturally heal myself. I didn't go through the surgery process. I had my own fears that were blocking that and I just wasn't interested. I just had too many other things on my mind at that moment. Then I started playing football again. Um, started playing for the minor leagues for the Vancouver Trojans. Got recruited by um, a UBC coach. Uh, gave me an opportunity to play football at UBC. So I went, I trained, I trained really hard. I got really good at um, playing and I, I got into the best shape of my life. And unfortunately, because of a football accident, I have um, five herniated discs in my lower back. Out of those five discs, two of them are bulging, and which hit a nerve, which unfortunately causes a lot of pain in my body. So these are the certain things that have added up to me gaining weight and for me being obese. They're not the only reason why I am big, why I'm heavy, but they are an additional factor. I'm a lacto-vegetarian, which means um, the only the major difference between uh, myself and other vegetarians is that I do not eat eggs and I don't have any seafood but I do have dairy so I will have milk or cheese or yogurt or those kind of dairy products but just not eggs so it makes it very difficult for me to be on uh, a diet where I get a lot of protein because the majority of my protein now ends up having to come from vegetables and it has to come from protein shakes or protein bars that is one, those are one of the reasons why I get very lazy at keeping myself accountable for eating healthy. Because eating clean is actually not as easy as I thought it was. It doesn't really matter if I'm a vegetarian. I still tend to eat a lot of junk food and a lot of you know, processed foods that are not really good for my body. But I tend to do so, right? I have a weakness. Just like everybody else, I have a weakness. But I am acknowledging it and I know that that is one of my downfalls. Also, I love sugary things. I love sugary um, juices, I like candy, I like 
anything that's sweet, I would love. So, again, that is another addition to my downfall. Another thing I tend to do is when I get very upset, mostly when I get very depressed, I tend to eat a lot and I tend to binge eat just because it makes me feel good. It doesn't make me feel good afterwards, but at the moment, my mind goes into like the zone and I'm just eating and eating and eating and it just helps me fight my depression a little bit. I know that is not the best way to take on the problem and that is not the best solution, but at the moment that is what I have been doing in the past. So putting all those things together, knowing that I am an obese person, I have decided that starting today, today is day one of my healthy lifestyle, which means I will be eating clean, I will be training regularly, I will be doing whatever I can to lose weight and to get into a healthy lifestyle. My main motivation here is not to lose weight to look good. I have never had a problem like, with uh, with my weight um, just because what I mean, okay, so what I mean is that I've never had a problem in loving myself. I love myself. It is not the easiest thing, but I do love who I am for myself. I, it doesn't matter how I look, what kind of clothes I wear, what kind of car I drive, nothing like that, but I do love myself. But as much as I would like to love myself 100% of the time, it is very difficult. I have a hard time accepting who I am. I have a hard time being comfortable around certain people or certain situations, which is why I sometimes get upset. I sometimes get depressed. There's other things that kind of put me into that mindset, which I'm not too proud about. But this is one of the ways that I do want to tackle that. Um, another major reason why I do want to go into a healthy lifestyle and lose weight is just because I have been noticing that there's a lot of people around myself or a lot of people I know or a lot of people on the news that you hear about that if they are overweight, it is hard for them to do certain things. And I have been one of those people that has experienced all those situations where being overweight has limited things that I can do in my daily life. Things like walking properly, things that limit me. It is difficult for me to get a CT scan here if I ever needed it just because there is a weight limit on the CT scan bench. So unfortunately, it, it hasn't been easy if I ever needed to get a CT scan, which I actually had to go through last year just because I had kidney stones and it was impossible for them to find out through ultrasound. So because of my weight, my weight has stopped me from doing a lot of things in life. There's a lot of things that I avoid. I avoid going out and partying all the time or I avoid going out spending time with my friends and doing the things that they like to do like snowboarding, hiking, uh, going to the beach on a regular basis. It's not the easiest thing to do. The reason why I'm going very public with this and very open with this is because I have heard as human beings if we tend to do the same thing but expect different results that is nothing different than the definition of insanity, right? So if you want something you have to, if you want to do something that's different and if you want to get different results, you have to try different things. You have to do things a different way. I have tried to stick on a diet multiple times. I have done the Atkins diet. I've done the Dr. Bernstein diet. I have tried working out all the time with a trainer. I've tried playing sports with friends, etc., etc. And I've always failed. And the reason for failure is myself. It's no one else. I am the cause of my own failure. So I have realized that I have the tendency to lose focus on what I want to do and where I want to go based on the fact that I have a hard time keeping myself accountable. So now I am leaving the power of keeping myself accountable to you, to anybody out there who would like to support, right? Motivation is a huge game changer. A little motivation can go a long way and people don't really give themselves enough credit as much as they should because motivation goes a long way and you have no idea how much of an impact it can have on somebody. So starting from today, this is my day one, I am going to be eating clean, I am going to be working out and training, and I already have a lot of friends and some family members who are willing to really support me, they're going to be supporting me in uh, eating healthy, certain friends are actually going to be supporting me in working out, certain friends have decided that they're going to take me out uh, to play sports, they're going to go for walks with me, they're going to try something. Different. So I am just overwhelmed with all the support that I've been getting and this is not the easiest thing to do. I 
will be very honest, I'm extremely nervous even making this video. There's no one at home because I was very nervous in making this video and I wanted to make sure that no one was, no one was around, my parents weren't around, my sister wasn't around to see me making this video because this is me being myself. This is me being vulnerable and this is something that is humiliating for me. Being overweight is not the easiest thing. I just want to lose weight. I want to be on a healthy lifestyle because I would like to live longer. I would like to do a lot more things in life and at the end of the day, I actually want to be pain free. Having back pain, having chronic back pain is not fun at all. It is one of the most difficult things that I have to live with on a daily basis and I've been living with since 2010. For the last six years, almost six years, I haven't been able to do certain things just because of my back pain. And the additional weight is a huge game changer on it. It actually makes it difficult to do anything just because I have additional weight uh, putting a lot of pressure on my lower back and even on my upper back and even on the rest of my body. That is one of the main reasons why I really want to lose weight. And it's not, and again, it's not about losing. I just want to be on this healthy lifestyle. And it's only going to happen if I work with everybody. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if it wasn't for certain people, I actually wouldn't even have the opportunity to sit in front of a camera and go all out. One of my biggest issues is that I tend to keep myself extremely busy because I do a lot of work. I run two companies. I have my schoolwork that I'm uh, trying to do. I have my music career that I'm trying to uh, take care of. And so, so there's a lot of things that I'm just always trying to be the best in. And unfortunately, since I'm winning in all those other categories, the place where I'm losing is keeping myself healthy and keeping myself accountable. Sometimes I eat too much. Sometimes I actually don't even eat at all. There are days where I'll eat maybe once a day, but I'll eat a lot. Or there'll be days where I actually don't even eat within 24 hours properly. Or there will be days where I'll be sitting at home and I'll get very upset and I will just eat a lot. So there are many, many reasons why I am overweight or you can call it obese or whatever your definition is. But it all ends here today. Starting today, I am going to be focusing on my health and I'm starting my journey to a healthier lifestyle. And if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have any, uh, any little bit of motivation that you can give me, if you guys have any ideas of how I could increase uh, my weight loss or I could increase um, or I could speed up this journey towards a healthy lifestyle, I would love to hear from you guys. So you guys can definitely leave a comment below if you guys have any suggestions or you can email me or you can send me a message on Facebook or you can send me a message on Instagram or on Twitter, no problem. I would love to hear from you guys and thank you so much. I would like to give a major shout out to Humble the Poet and Superwoman who have given me a lot of support and who have really given me confidence in making this video and to actually putting myself out there without worrying about what the world thinks. This is something that I'm doing for myself. This is something that I know if I continue on doing and if I keep on winning, this will definitely make me happy. And happiness is something that I'm all about. This is where I stop my depression. This is where I stop the negativity and I bring positivity out. And this video is not just for me, this is for everybody out there who is struggling in whatever situation. You just need to know, you're not in this all alone. We're all in this together. Everybody has issues, everybody has problems. And the best way to do it is to do it together, is to face your problems as a team. I would also like to give a shout out to Paul Ole, Harry Dollywall, and Gavin Atwell for supporting me in making, sorry. I would also like to give a shout out to Paul Ole, Harry Dollywall, and Gavin Atwell in supporting me in figuring out exactly what it is I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. I have been thinking about doing this for quite some time and as you can tell, I'm a little late <laughs> comparable to the time that I was planning on doing it. I've been saying I wanted to do this for the last year or so. It's taken me quite some time to get the courage and confidence to do something like this. I would also like to give a shout out to my sister who is going to be supporting me in my food intake and making sure that I will be eating healthy and eating clean on my journey to a healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to support me even more, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the like button. I will see you very soon.